Khmer cuisine, Khmer, or, more generally, Cambodian cuisine, is the traditional cuisine of the people of Cambodia. Average meals typically consists of more than one dish and ideally contrasts flavors, textures and temperatures within the meal using plenty of herbs, leaves, pickled vegetables, dipping sauces, edible flowers and other garnishes and condiments. Rice is the staple food in Cambodia, and it is part of every meal, both as an accompaniment and used as an ingredient for many dishes. According to the International Rice Research Institute, there are 2,000 rice varieties indigenous to Cambodia that were developed over centuries by Cambodian rice farmers. Rice is eaten throughout the day in the form of street side snacks, such as deep fried rice cakes with chives and spinach, for breakfast, as in Cambodia's famous rice noodle soup kaitiv or rice porridge, and in many desserts. Plain white rice is served with nearly every family meal, typically served with grilled freshwater fish, a samlor or soup, and an assortment of seasonal herbs, salad leaves and vegetables. History and influences Water, rice and freshwater fish exert the most profound influences on Khmer cuisine. The Mekong River, the twelfth longest in the world, cuts through the very heart of Cambodia. The capital Phnom Penh is on its riverbank, at the junction where two other rivers meet, the Tonle Sap and Basak. The Tonle Sap River connects the Mekong with the Tonle Sap Lake, or Great Lake, which acts as a liquid heart and natural reservoir for the entire Mekong River system, regulating the flow of huge volumes of water, and allowing the safe passage of an astonishing number of freshwater fish. The lake itself is believed to have more fish than any other in the world and ranks second to the Amazon River in biodiversity. When the rainy season begins at the start of the Khmer New Year, the region becomes inundated with monsoonal rain and Cambodia turns into a vast ocean of emerald rice paddies. The geographical setting of wetlands, Cambodia ranks second to Bangladesh for the largest amount of wetland in Asia, and floodplains explains why water, and hence fish and rice, which grow in water, are such an integral component to the cuisine. Many dishes, in particular, the samlers, have a pond-like appearance, and are often loaded with reed-like plants, leaves, and vegetables, mirroring the surrounding landscape. Dipping sauces tend to be quite watery, as are most Cambodian curries. Khmer cuisine shares many commonalities with the food of neighboring Thailand. Although, less chili, sugar and coconut cream are used for flavor and of neighboring Vietnam, with which it shares and adopts many common dishes, as well as a colonial history, as both formed part of the French colonial empire in Southeast Asia. It has drawn upon influences from the cuisines of China and France, powerful players in Cambodian history. The Chinese began arriving in the 13th century, but Chinese migration accelerated during the French period. Curry dishes, known as curry, in Khmer, show a trace of cultural influence from India. The many variations of rice noodles show the influences from Chinese cuisine. Preserved lemons are another unusual ingredient not commonly found in the cooking of Cambodia's neighbors, it is used in some Khmer dishes to enhance the sourness. The Portuguese and Spanish also had considerable influence in Cambodian affairs in the 16th century, introducing chili and peanuts into Asia from the New World. However, chili never gained the same status or prominence as it did with the cuisines of neighboring Thailand, Laos, and Malaysia. Even today very few recipes include chili. One legacy of French, the baguette, known as Nam Pang in Khmer, is ubiquitous in all parts of Cambodia today. Cambodians often eat bread with pâté, tinned sardines or eggs. One of these with a cup of strong coffee, sweetened with condensed milk, is an example of a common Cambodian breakfast. Freshly buttered baguettes can be made into sandwiches, also called nam pang, and may be stuffed with slices of ham or any number of grilled meats, with kampot pepper, similar to Vietnamese banh mi. The French also introduced beer, butter, pate, coffee, chocolate, onions, carrots, broccoli, potatoes and many other types of non-native produce Southeast Asia. Traditionally, Cambodians eat their meals with at least three or four dishes. A meal will usually include a soup, or samlor, served alongside the main courses. Each individual dish will be either sweet, sour, salty or bitter in taste. Chili, fresh, pickled or dried, and chili sauce is served on the side and left up to individual diners and to their taste. In this way, Cambodians ensure that they get a bit of every flavor to satisfy their palates. Ingredients Fermented sauces 
In Khmer cuisine, it distinguishes between fermented paste-based ingredients and pickled ingredients. Mam refers to fish or shrimp that has been fermented in a particular technique and is usually includes more solid pieces of the pickled animal. In a sense, mam is the general term when referring to most kind of fermented ingredients created from aquatic animals. Prahik and kapi are popular based for sauces that refer to pickled aged ingredients. Both mam and prahik are aged to a minimum of one year in order to reach its full potential in taste, much like fish sauce. Fermented sauce are often eaten with high-protein-based dishes or raw vegetables to help the body digest. Spices Black pepper is the preferred choice when heat is wanted in a dish, it is used in stir-fries, soups, marinades for grilled meats, and dipping sauces. Pepper has a long history in Cambodia, having been grown since at least the 13th century, while the pungent, aromatic variety from Kampot province, bordering Vietnam. S. Ha Tien Province and the Gulf of Thailand to the south, and the jungle clad elephant mountains to the north, was once Cambodia's chief export from the late 1800s up till the 1960s. Kampot pepper was once known as the King of Peppers, revered by gourmands worldwide for its floral and eucalyptus notes, its heady aroma, its musky heat, and its medicinal properties. Before the 1970s, Kampot pepper was used in all French restaurants for the classic dish steak au poivre. Today, the pepper industry is being revitalized and, since acquiring protected geographic indication status in 2008, which gives it the same special status as champagne in France, people can purchase Kampot pepper online in many parts of the world. Jungle cardamom, or wild cardamom, grows in the aptly named Cardamom Mountains in the southwest of the country, bordering the Gulf of Thailand coast to the south and Trat Province in Thailand to the west. These vast mountains form some of the last remaining area of intact virgin rainforest in Southeast Asia and harbor extensive mangrove forests, elephants, tigers, Siamese crocodiles and other rare and endangered species, and few people live in this area. Locals use cardamom medicinally and in certain samlers, using the root of the plant as well as the pod. Turmeric, Khmer, has grown in Batambang province and is a common ingredient in many curry powders, soups and rice dishes. Saffron is also esteemed in local folk medicine as a treatment for many ailments, especially skin problems. Tamarind is commonly employed as a soup base for dishes such as samlar machu. Star anise is a must when caramelizing meat in palm sugar like pork in the dish known as pop love. Turmeric, galangal, ginger, lemongrass and kaffir lime leaves are essential spices in Khmer cooking, Khmer stews, and nearly all curries. Kroon From India, Cambodians adapted the art of blending spices into a paste using many ingredients like cardamom, star anise, cloves, cinnamon, nutmeg, ginger and turmeric. Other native ingredients like lemongrass, galangal, garlic, shallots, cilantro, and kaffir lime leaves are added to this mix to make a distinctive and complex spice blend called kroon. Other ingredients for kroon used by Khmers in America are lemongrass, turmeric powder, garlic, prahik, and lemon leaf. This is an important aromatic paste commonly used in Cambodian cooking. Vegetables Many vegetables used in Khmer cuisine are also used in Chinese cuisine. Vegetables such as winter melon, bitter melon, luffa, water spinach and yard-long beans can be found in soups and stews. Oriental squash can be stewed, stir-fried or sweetened and steamed with coconut milk as a dessert. Vegetables like mushrooms, cabbage, baby corn, bamboo shoots, fresh ginger, kai lan, Chinese kale. Snow peas, and bok choy are commonly used in many stir-fry dishes. Together these stir-fry dishes are known by the generic term char. Banana blossoms are sliced and added to some noodle dishes like nam bon chok. Fruits Fruits in Cambodia are so popular that they have their own royal court. The durian is considered the king, the mangosteen the queen, sapodilla the Prince, and the milk fruit, fly teuk do ko, the princess. Other popular fruits include the jan fruit, ku fruit, romdol, pineapple, star apple, rose apple, coconut, palmyra fruit, jackfruit, papaya, watermelon, banana, mango, and rambutan. 
Although fruits are usually considered desserts, some such as ripe mangoes, watermelon, and pineapples are eaten commonly with heavily salted fish with plain rice. Fruits are also made into beverages called tuk krolik, mostly shakes. Popular fruits for shakes are durian, mangoes, bananas. Fish and meat As the country has an extensive network of waterways, freshwater fish plays a large part in the diet of most Cambodians, making its way into many recipes. Daily fresh catches come from the Mekong River, Basak River and the vast Tonle Sap. Fish is far more common than meat in Khmer cuisine and fish forms 60% of the Cambodian intake of proteins. Prahak itself is based on fish. Many of the fish eaten in Cambodia are freshwater fish from the Tonle Sap or from the Mekong. Dried salted fish known as Trey Ngeat, are a favorite with plain rice porridge. The popular Khmer dish called Amuk uses a kind of catfish steamed in a savory coconut-based curry. The small fish known as tray dang do are very common and are often eaten deep fried. While freshwater fish is the most commonly used meat in the Cambodian diet, pork and chicken are also popular. Though not as common as in neighboring Vietnam, vegetarian food is a part of Khmer cuisine and often favored by more observant Buddhists. Pork is quite popular in making sweet Khmer sausages known as kwa ko. Beef and chicken are stewed, grilled or stir-fried. Seafood includes an array of shellfish such as clams, cockles, crayfish, shrimp and squid. Lobsters are not commonly eaten because of their price, but middle class and rich Cambodians enjoy eating them at Sahanakbal. Duck roasted in Chinese char shao style is popular during festivals. More unusual varieties of meat include frog, turtle, and arthropods, including tarantulas. These are difficult to find in Khmer cuisine abroad but are used in everyday dishes in Cambodia. Noodles Many elements of Cambodian noodle dishes were inspired by Chinese and Vietnamese cooking despite maintaining a distinct Khmer variation. Prahak is never used with noodle dishes. Rice stick noodles are used in mi katang, which is a Cambodian variation of chow fen with gravy. Unlike the Chinese-style chow fen, the noodles are plated under the stir-fry beef and vegetables and topped off with scrambled eggs. Burmese-style noodles, mi kola, is a vegetarian dish made from thin rice stick noodles, steamed and cooked with soy sauce and garlic chives. This is served with pickled vegetables jroak, julienned eggs, and sweet garlic fish sauce which is actually not vegetarian, garnished with crushed peanuts. Mi cha has stir-fried egg noodles. Popular dishes Cambodian street foods are a combination of influences from China and Southeast Asia. There exist a variety that are often not known to people outside of Cambodia. Street food are the heart and tradition of Cambodian daily life and considered snacks rather than meals. Food stalls are called hang or tiam, a Khmer word borrowed from Chinese hang, store, business, or hang by, by means, rice, or food. And in order to identify the specific food for sale, food eateries are addressed as hang tiam ku ti, rice noodle stall, or hang tiam cafe, coffee stall, for example. Noodle soups Cambodian features a variety of noodles in which different types of noodles are exchangeable for different broths, such as kuti broth eaten with mi sua noodle or lort. Khmer noodles have origins from Chinese influences and bear many the similarities to other noodles in Southeast Asia. Samlor soup, stew, and shnang plaring pot pot. Samlor refers to soup dishes that are eaten with rice and sup refer to dishes that can be eaten without the need of rice, these usually being dishes of Chinese or European origin. Chong plaring refers to the general term of hotpot that are popular eaten during the dry, cold season, winter, and during late night gatherings. CHHA, stir-fried dishes, and rice dishes. The term CHHA refers to stir-frying techniques introduced by Chinese immigrants, from hockey and cha. N. Hoam, salads, rolls, and chamhoi, steamed foods. Num, pastries. 
Bai Dam Name, Sticky Rice Dishes, and Kia Dumplings. Cha Hai, Jelly, and Babor Piam Pudding. Cambodian cuisine features a variety of desserts similar to its Southeast Asian neighbors. Its assortment of puddings are called Cha Hai Tuak, Jelly, or Babor Piam, Sweet Porridge, depending on the ingredients of the dish. Agar agar jelly desserts are collectively called Sarai. Beverages Southern Khmer, Khmer Krom dishes The Khmer Krom are ethnic Khmer indigenous to large areas of what is today southern Vietnam. Khmer Krom cuisine is a fusion of traditional Khmer cooking with locally available ingredients and Vietnamese influences. Khmer culture is also especially influential in the Vietnamese cuisine of southern Vietnam. This is most evident in the sweetness of Vietnamese food and the wider variety of tropical herbs that are now shared by both Vietnam and Cambodia since the 17th century when Vietnam took control of the Mekong Delta region away from the remnants of the Khmer Empire. As a result, traditional Khmer cooking is an important component of Vietnam's diverse cuisine. Putiu Nam Vang, meaning Phnom Pen rice noodle, is a common breakfast snack of Khmer Chinese origin. It features a wet and dry version and typically uses pork with additions of dark soy and daikon and carrot. Bun Num Bo Chok, also called Bun Ka Kampachia, or Bun Ka Nam Vang, Nam Vang meaning Phnom Pen, is the Khmer Krom variation of Num Bon Chok. It differs in the broth that is used, which is saltier than in Cambodia and a lesser variety of vegetables. Bun Ken in Jiang, a red curry variation of Khmer Num Bon Chok rice noodle dish that is a specialty of in Jiang. The dish features chicken legs, herbs, and a lesser variety of greens. The word, Ken, is a unique Khmer Krom word referring to the coconut water that is added into the dish. This dish highly resembles Laos Khao Poon. Boon Ryu Bak Lu, known in Khmer Krom as Num Bon Chok Tuak Katem Pol Liev, Bak Lu province having its origin etymology from Khmer Pol Liev, is crab-based dish rice noodle soup, specialty of western region of Vietnam, Mien Tè. Bun Nuk Leo, another variation of Khmer Num Bon Chok with fusion Chinese influences. It is a specialty of Tra Vinh, Sok Trang, and Kham Ao, areas with large Khmer populations. The broth use is simple to num bon chok and served alongside banana blossom, pka chek, wa chuoi, roasted pork, krup kvay, hio ki, and fried spring roll, chai york cha gio. Mam bo hok, a variation of prahak, a Khmer style fish paste that is used as an ingredient and condiment. It is used in various Vietnamese dishes such as lao mam and bun mam. Bon mi nun moi at, num pang ang prai mates, a common street snack from the Khmer people that has spread to Vietnam. The bread is braised with butter and hot sauce and grill, thought the style eaten differs from Cambodian and Vietnam. Bun suong, a Khmer dish using the suan, a yellow, orange substance, that is added into tapioca noodles. Che kampachia, cha hai, are called che thach dua. It features the Khmer style pudding of adding coconut milk and condensed milk and a variety of jellies which is distinct from Vietnamese pudding. It also features the addition of fresh fruit and pumpkin custard and mixed together to create a variety of flavor and texture. Bon Kong, Num Kaong, a Khmer deep fried shrimp cake that is made using a coconut ladle made by traditional carving techniques. This cake is often added in noodle dishes to add saltiness and texture. Bon Pia, Num Pia, a Chinese Khmer cake, a speciality of Sok Trang. Bon Kam Dep, Om Bok, a Khmer pounded rice grain dessert that is consumed during the Khmer Dragon Boat Moon Festival during the months of October, November, Bon Kok Om Bok, La Trang Ok Om Bok. The dish symbolizes togetherness and connection and are also offered to the moon through floating candle light lanterns with flowers, to wish for a good rice harvest. Lap Zong Ziam Reap, Kwa Sak Siem Reap, Khmer Siem Reap style preserved meat that come in beef and pork varieties. These are imported through Cambodian markets and popular consumption with sticky rice. 
Boko, Kako, a Khmer variation of beef jerky and fish jerky. The meats are dry and salted. Bon Bo Thot Not, Num A Kao Thin Out, a Khmer version of Bon Bo featuring the use of sugar palm, an ingredient used extensively in Khmer cuisine. Kam Lam, Kralin, a Khmer, Laos, and Thai sticky rice snack that is grilled in bamboo shoot. The Khmer Krom variation features green and purple dyed rice made from the extraction of plant. Wa Sao Do, a watercress plant that is boiled and served with rice and fish paste or shrimp paste. It is an important addition in Khmer meals because the stems burn fat and add a crunchy texture. Ro Thot Not, SRA Thin Out, a type of fermented alcoholic beverage made with the use palm sugar to add a sweet and less stronger taste. Rang Nep, a special variety of rice that is roasted within a pot until fragrant. It is often served multiple plates within a round table for holiday occasions. Bon Ong Sok Trang, a speciality street food cake of Sok Trang made by the Kham Dep of the Khmer people. When heated in a wok, the pounded rice grains form a sort of crepe that is folded and top off with coconut shavings. References Further reading De Montero, Longtin, Neustadt, Catherine, the 1st of November 1998, The Elephant Walk Cookbook, The Exciting World of Cambodian Cuisine from the Nationally Acclaimed Restaurant, Houghton Mifflin Harcourt, ISBN 978-0-395-89253-4, archived from the original on 3 February 2010. Asterisk the Elephant Walk Cookbook is the best known English language reference on Cambodian cuisine, and has been an important cultural record, as many of the more elaborate recipes died out in Cambodia following the communist takeover, and have been revived based on the Elephant Walk Cookbook. External links Khmer Krom Recipes Fruits and Vegetables of Cambodia